Jason Wolf of Better Place talks about hurdles that are being overcome that will more easily enable the mass adoption of electric vehicles. Better Place is a electric vehicle service provider, so we enable the mass adoption of electric vehicles. The way we do that is removing some of the historical barriers that traditionally stopped electric vehicles from becoming mainstream. And if you look at what those barriers are, the cost of the vehicle has been prohibitive so far. Technology's been there since late 1800s, but the cost is very high because of the cost of the battery. So Better Place works with removable, switchable batteries. We own the battery, so it becomes part of the infrastructure. We remove the barrier of convenience so people can charge anywhere they go. We deploy mass amounts of charge spots that are connected in a network. So you can have one at home, one at work, one everywhere else you go. And the third element is around range. There's, I spoke about cost benefits of removing the battery, but there's also range elements. You can solve the range anxiety that people feel with having a, a vehicle that can only go 100 miles. But now, for instance, if I'm driving from San Francisco to Sacramento, I can stop for two minutes without getting out of the car and replace my battery. And you don't mind doing that because you don't own the battery as the consumer better place does. It's part of the network of services. So you're buying a annual or monthly mileage subscription and you don't care about the high cost of the battery or the energy that's used to produce those miles that you subscribe into. So what we're doing is when we, when we launch a region, we do this on a regional basis. It's kind of like what happened with the mobile industry 20 years ago. You need to find a, a, a large enough population base in order to deploy the infrastructure to get the network effect. So what we're seeing there is we're seeing basically countries that started earlier like Israel and Denmark and Australia, they are in their planning phase. It takes about a year to plan one of these networks. Then it takes another year or so to start deploying them and testing them. So we're looking at the time frame of about 2011 to massively have these things available. Again, we're not talking about ones and twos or tens or hundreds. We're talking about thousands, tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of vehicles to be enabled. <laughs>